So hello guys, welcome to the tutorial on how to, you know, uh, reduce lag uh, for Meta.io. Let me just disable this real quick. So we're going to be doing the tutorial for how to reduce lag in Meta.io on your computer. So basically, uh, if you have like an old computer, old MacBook, old laptop or whatever laying around, you can still play Meta.io, but on a minimal setting. So you cannot play like full screen on it. And right now I am running uh, up this recording on my uh, new laptop, but later on I will be doing a recording for my old computer to see and check the comparison of the performance after we do the settings that we need to do, that we need to apply. So first off, make sure all of your other applications are turned off, like if you want to record then that's okay but it's gonna be taking a little bit of a little bit of resources for your pc to like you know uh it's gonna take a little bit of resources from your computer so it's gonna make your game lag a little so you might want to go press alt f4 when closing or what you could do is go to this uh arrow button and make sure that everything is not active like everything is you know uh not there like you can do right click and then do like exit or like this right click exit like an obs as well exit well okay so there you go and second of all i prefer you to use bro to use a browser that is not you know and that is not a, i mean that is you know that's not using like any other kind of resource let's say you're uh doing you know you're doing chrome so i suggest you to go to another browser that is not a comp you know that it's not like you know using up uh, some of the resources like these tabs right here or these um <clears throat> these extensions right here so make sure you use another browser and i prefer you to use a uh, brave browser because brave browser is just cool like it's perfect for a game gaming browser so let's open up a browser so as you can see uh we have two extensions running which is zenmate vpn this is for a vpn so I suggest you guys to install this VPN only for playing Wormit.io. Do not use this VPN for like surfing YouTube, surfing Facebook, or whatever other websites. Only for Wormit.io. So the server does not, you know, uh, does not slow down for other people that's using the same uh, VPN. So right now we're using Wormworld Connect. And let's go try to play. Of course, the gameplay here on this computer will not be as laggy as my computer. It's because uh, this is a new computer. Of course, this is much more powerful. I am currently running a <clears throat> i7 8th gen and a GTX 1050 Ti. So I'm currently running like a really, really heavy computer right now. So... <clears throat> For laptop users, I suggest you to uh, connect an external monitor. For if, if you're just going to play the game, connect your external monitor. If you have uh, a dedicated graphics instead of into like look at this. I am using an I'm using an integrated graphics right now because I am using my laptop screen. So it might feel like a little bit choppy. But if I but if you could see on the <clears throat> dedicated graphics card it's because i am recording that's why it has like some utilization running on the graphics card so yeah so what you're gonna do to reduce lag for happening on romita io of course you can also use zoom because zoom doesn't really matter when you know playing like you know i don't care so for you to be able to use zoom you can go to when we friends connect and search up where we find connect right here. Let me disable this one. Oh, wait, disable all of the extensions. So, where we friends connect. So, where we friends connect offers free Zoom. As I remember, I don't know. We'll see. So, let's go to server one. Oh, so that just happens when a little bit of a fraction, in a, I mean, in a fraction of a second, uh, something pops up. 
and disappears. So what you're going to do is just refresh the page because it's going to be taking a while for it to like uh, refresh. Like that. So let's just wait. Let's go to server number one. And of course, nothing pops up and it has resume. So this uh, extension has resume you can use for, you know, gameplays. I mean, uh, we're made we're made, I mean, Worm World Connect has pre zoom as well, but I will not be making a tutorial off of that since it's like you know confidential. So, first off, to reduce lag on Worm.io, what you're gonna do is go to settings and turn up the player names. I have no clue and I have no any other idea why would we need to turn up the names, but in this case, if we turn up the names, it's gonna help. Uh, it's gonna help, uh, you know, the stuttering of the Wormit.io. So it's gonna help, you know, reduce the stuttering. Like, uh, I don't know. On the uh, older computer that I have, uh, it's kind of like, you know, pausing mid game, like pausing for a second and then it's gonna continue, uh, you know, surfing the lobby and then it's gonna pause for a second and it's, it's gonna continue surfing the lobby. So it helps reduce or it just completely, uh, you know, it just completely, uh, you know, make it disappear. Like there's kind of stuttering. So that's number one. And for you to be able to do number two, you have to have like a really good uh, cooling or a cooler on your computer or on your laptop. So I suggest, I suggest when you're playing on a laptop, you should be able to, I don't know, I, I mean, Cut, cut. If you're playing on a laptop, you should be able to like rise or raise your laptop a little bit from like where it's standing. So it's kind of elevated. So I'm going to post a picture up here. So <clears throat> for you to be able to completely reduce lag on your roommate's IR, like, mm, I'll, like, you know, just reduce lag by, let's say, 30 to 40 percent. What you're going to do is go open task manager or you could do control shift escape on your keyboard and then it's going to open task manager and then go to processes go to the brave bra i mean just click the sort uh just sort the cpu usages and then just go here on the drop down menu and then just find the one that's using uh a gpu so this process is using a gpu right click on that go to details right click Set priority for the GPU usage, set the priority to real time, change priority, and then go back to processes, go back to the Ray browser, find the one that's using a little bit too much uh, CPU power, which is this one. It's separated from the main tasks that's running. Right click that, go, to, go again to details and then right click and then you're going to be selecting high only if you select real time then it's going to crash your computer entirely uh, i'm running i'm warning you don't do that so set that to high change priority and then for the network lag it's going to cause a network lag of course you might want to go to the network and then find the browser that is using a network so it's basically using a network here so go to details and then just find it and then set it to high priority set it to high priority so after you do that go to go again to processes and then you're good to go like you know uh, you should see the one that's on the cpu uh separated from the others so let's get rid of that and then let's try to play here of course it's not gonna lag in this computer since this computer is like a really powerful computer so we're just gonna try it on our old computer okay so we are currently recording on our computer right now which has some programs open like Discord and Chrome. So I won't be able to get rid of it. But to comparison on my gameplay on my laptop and on my computer, you will see that it's not as good as we speak. Like you can see the stutter a little bit. Like look at this. So it's stuttering a little bit if we do like a uh, comparison to comparison with my computer. Uh, so look, look at this it's kind of laggy as well like look at that so it's lagging so what you're going to be able to do if it lags like this is you might want to go 
to the settings of Wormit to IO and disable names. As I told you guys, I have no clue why we need to go back into the lobby. And so the stuttering is gone. But the problem now is if you grow big or like if you zoom out, it's still gonna lag. Like it's the lag is still there. So let's just see if we could get big somehow here. Or like if we could go to a close oh you could you can actually see like there's like a little stutter, like there you go. It's a little stuttering now. So you can actually see it right here. It's stuttering, yeah? It's because I have like a lot of programs open and it is like doing a stress test on itself. So let's see if we could get like a good kill or something with this lag. Let's just wait. Oh, there you go. Even with like a lot of mass, if we see like a lot of mass, it's still gonna lag out. But we'll see. We'll see what we could do. Well, there you go. And it's starting to lag like crazy. You, ca you guys can see right here. It's starting to lag like crazy. Like it's not even 60 FPS now. Like it's not even close to 60 FPS. Like it's just starting to lag profusely. You can see it right here. Yeah. It's starting to lag. It's like really unplayable now. Well, it's clearly playable, but in a nick of the time, it's going to be like really unplayable. So look at this. It has lag. So what you're going to do is go to task manager, control shift ESE or escape. Then you might want you want to drop down the program that Wormit.io is open on. Okay. Okay. Wormit.io was open on Opera Internet. So find the one where there's like a lot of Opera Internet. I mean, find the one where there's like a GPU usage. Okay, let's so let's go into the where we to I oh, tab here, then go into a game, then we'll see where that thing is. So we see this. Wait, let me see. Okay, let's go here GPU, so it doesn't you know break. Oh wait. Okay, so we need to. Okay, there you go. So we need to minimize. Okay, so you see this GPU usage. Right click on it. Go to details. And just go to priority. Set it to real time. I am telling you, only set this to real time if you have efficient cooling. If you don't have efficient cooling, like, you know, if you have a fanless uh, GPU, you should only set it to high. Because it will definitely consume more power. And at the same time, it will produce more heat. So go back into the Opera Internet Browser, find the um, CPU usage, like the high CPU usage right here. Then go to Details, and then right-click that uh, process, set it to high. High only. Do not set the CPU usage to real-time. It might, it just might fry your CPU. I mean, it doesn't happen for me, but I don't really set it to high. So... And then the other one is for the network, so it doesn't lag that much. Is if you go here, go drop down to network, and then just right click this network usage. So this is the process that has network usage in it. So go to details, and then priority to high. High only, do not go in real time, because it might, you know, it might overrun, and boom, your CPU is dead. Let's just wait for the thing. Uh, this is normal. Like this is completely normal. If it's stuck in this screen, it's where me. It's it is where my friends connect fault. So you don't have to do anything to where me to IR. So one more thing here is if you want to not use any extensions. So let's say you don't want to use any VPNs or any extensions. Let me just turn this off. So let's say you don't want to use any extensions. Like we're, we're gonna play without any extensions. Okay, let's ignore this. And we want to go to a lobby where it's not laggy. So I have a, lo I have a lot of questions that arise when this happens. So let's play. And I get to a server with like 
everyone i mean with like the latency or the delay is just so much so i barely go to that server because we use extensions but let's okay let's say if we go to that specific server let's see let's say we will be go we will be going to that kind of server oh look at this so this is the thing that i am mentioning so let's say we are you are in the server it, there's like a big delay so this means that this is not a singapore server since i go on singapore server so this is not a singapore server it could be like uh somewhere in na sa or even europe or even australia there's like a lot there's a lot of servers that were meets i hosts so if you want to fix this kind of delay you just want to go click the location access of your remit to IR and then or you can just wait let me see if I can so you want to go to the settings because I don't know how to yeah so if you want to go to you know if you want to get rid of that um delay you want to go to settings go to site settings go to location and then go for uh warm it to ir click the drop down menu and then for the location you might want to click allow so this will uh tell this will tell uh warm it to io that it is only you know it is only gonna go on a location that you are in so Let's say Wormit.io tracks you in uh, somewhere in Asia. So it's going to maybe redirect you to only Singapore or Japan servers. So let's see. Let's try to play. And you can see that I don't have any delay here. So this might be Japan server or yeah, this, this could be Japan server since I have like a little delay. So this is a Japan server uh, delay right here. How, I do, how do I know? Uh, you know, I basically know everything about the servers and the delay, so I have like experience. Okay, so let's try to go to a Singapore server. So this is the Singapore server. I know the delay of the Singapore server. So every single time you, uh, you know, you <clears throat> respond with the location access turned on or allowed, you will be only going into the server that you can go to. Let's say you're in North. Let's say you're in uh, North America. Then you're gonna be only able to play on Brazil or Canada or America server. If you don't use any extensions and if you uh, you know activate the worm the what do you call it like the location access of the site. So you you can see that there's no delay. I have no lag, but. I still have a little bit of lag so we can go to the process and go to here if you experience lag and you set this thing up go back to the CPU usage only like the high CPU usage right click on it go to details it will reset to normal uh, it will all it will always reset to normal so my, you might want to set it to high and it's not gonna lag anymore look at this this is really smooth we went from being like stuttery laggy earlier when we even though we have like a lot of things open from this mood one and this is the final thing if you want to not get any lag on remit io just simply minimize the uh window so let's say you minimize it like this small this will definitely reduce this gpu usage and it will you know reduce any heat that is generating on your computer on your gpu especially so we can do uh gameplays with this one now while we are recording like even even if we have like everything set real time uh high settings for the cpu usage we still have a lot of resources left for recording maybe streaming or other software apps like this is really, really normal. Like we're already playing Wormit to Ion at the same time, it is still stable. The, everything is still stable. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next stream, in the next video, in the next tutorial, in the next, next nothing. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.